Real education first. We have to grow up in a culture of effective self-education. Learning for real is far too important to hand off to some strangers. All conspiracy theories aside, the moment organized education does become effective, there will be so many changes that those who took advantage of an education will attempt to cripple schools again, and it is a lot easier to destroy than to create. We just have to understand that the idea of standardized education is a really neat fantasy and a great promise for the future generations. But today it is not yet reality, and we need to take responsibility for our own meaningful self-education. Standardized education can help us with reading, writing, and arithmetic. That seems to work quite nicely. But as soon as we get past that point, we need to begin learning programming. Programming helps us to explore, visualize, and simulate the entire universe and everything in it. It is like a microscope that will help us comprehend everything and anything. And becoming a programmer also means that no student will be crippled by the fear of poverty, of homelessness, or hunger. For one, creating small side projects can make a few dollars, but also co-founding smart software startups becomes an option. For a programmer, computer program-based companies require little to non-upfront investment, and software products do not need warehousing. Programming is a great little tool for money-making, one that the students will have no trouble learning to dream and imagine with. Life is more complicated than learning programming, though, and real education is a lot more complex than anything that can be standardized. Narrated books actually come close to creating a more authentic learning environment. By design, it is self-directed, it is self-paced, and staffed by authentic and life-changing teachers. All the clear-thinking authors of all the world's most valuable books always stand by their wisdom, and so do all the world's intellectuals. Books represent a magnificent intellectual inheritance that truly does belong to all the students. Inheriting wisdom from books, as not to begin where countless many have begun already, is far more important than any GPA and diploma. A prestigious career means little if the person is always walking in circles for lack of wisdom. Real education has to come first so that the students can begin where the great beings leave off. Today, fake education translates to war and mind-numbing stress that people then treat with overwork and doom-scrolling, if not downright medication. As a result, a lot of today's adults are unfortunately forced to pretend that they are grown-ups. If you are in need of a path away from stress, please know that there are great trails all around the world. They take many months to cross and are as hard as healing. And above all, they help you make room in your life for narrated books. If you feel that you need more, or that you need nature, or that you get stuck somehow, 
get to the Appalachian Trail or the Pacific Crest Trail or the Continental Divide Trail or the equivalent in your part of the world. Bring all the narrated books that call to you, and you will surely read them all. In order to repair schools, the world needs an intellectual revolution. You have to understand that to grow up means to grow all the way up and become a great being. Merely aging without growing up means that there will be no one to fix schools or correct humanity scores. Without growing up, the world can only stand still. Progress will cease, and maybe even reverse. Effective, meaningful, life-changing education must come first. Please, take to the trails, take to your books, do what you must to become knowledgeable and wise, and then help others follow in your path so that they may learn also.